Hi, I'm Nathan. I go by Pete Parker, and every week I do comic book reviews because that's the rule around my house. If I want to keep buying them, then I have to review them online. So this is the uh, Frankenstein and the Creatures of Known of the Unknown Flashpoint tie-in number two, uh, written by Jeff Lemire and the art done by Abram Roberson and Alex Masicki. So uh, I had a lot of books this week, a whole lot more than usual, and this was one of the ones that was really on the cutting block for a long time. Uh, I heard so many good things about the first uh, Frankenstein issue that I wanted to jump in on this one and see if this one would tickle my fancy as much as the first one did for everyone else. I have not read the first one. Um, and what I found to be in here is basically a another squad of monsters, as you probably could tell from the cover, uh, battling people that are monster hunters, more or less. Um, and there's a lot of uh, seemingly BPRD, uh, Hellboy-ish kind of situations in here, especially because there's like a mermaid girl. Now she's a girl or whatever, and it's a little bit kind of different situation, but a lot of this reminds me of that kind of uh, story in general. It's almost like they're trying to tell a story related to that kind of stuff with the same types of characters. You know, you got Frankenstein being your Hellboy character, the Iguana the girl or whatever she is being Abe Sapien, and then the two others that you barely remember and the rest of the team and, and all that. Uh, so... I did not enjoy this nearly as much as I was hoping I would. I mean, I, I heard a lot about uh, Hitler being punched in the face by Frankenstein in the first issue, and I was expecting that level of excitement and fun and hilarity in this book, and that's really not what it was. It's really more of a team of monsters doing secret ops and a, 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 some monster hunters coming after them, which I think that story's been told so many times that I, I did not find any of it really interesting at all. Now the take on uh, Frankenstein himself is a little bit different, but not all that different from anything else. He's kind of an indestructible, uh, big strong guy, so what more do you need than that? Um, so I actually will not be reading this anymore and probably will not even be looking into the number ones when it comes out next time, unless again I hear somebody go, oh this is the best comic book I've ever read in my life, and either I will not take them seriously any further or I will look into the issue again but uh, this was okay I, the art quality is good the uh, story is probably interesting to somebody who's never read this kind of story before but to me I, I feel like I've heard it a million times and this is nothing different or new enough to really get let me uh, to hook me and keep me in here so there you go uh, I'm actually going to give it a 2 out of 5. The art would probably push it up a, a bit more than that, but I just felt like the story didn't have anything uh, super unique to add to it, and, and that's what it gets. So there you go. Frankenstein and the Creatures of the Unknown Flashpoint tie-in number 2, and it's a 2 out of 5. So if you like that review and you want to check out some of my other reviews, look for Spidey207 on YouTube or Pete Parker on the Marvel and DC databases or on uh, iFanboy or Comic Vine, all over those. Uh, and next week I probably won't have reviews out. I may or may not. I'll be in San Diego, so I don't know if I'm going to actually get around to doing this, being busy with so much other things, on vacation more or less. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. But if I don't uh, get to talk to you next week, then it'll be the week after. And uh, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you later.